Today on Identity, social entrepreneur and motivational speaker Melody Mia pops by for coffee. We hang out with members of the Tuti Music Initiative in Soweto. What's Happening features the review of a cooking app and a movie about faith and miracles. And we wrap up the show with a track from Bo featuring Cabo Snoop and Gobi. I, I, I am. An individual with an imagination My inner faith illuminates innovations In a space with infinite inspiration I was born free from all incarceration Incredible, living infallibly Intelligent, outshine with my inner being This is me, impeccable as ever been I am you, you are me This is my identity Hello and welcome to Identity. It's a new season and the team is happy to bring you your favorite magazine show, now in its fourth year. I'm your host, Vio Kuala, and as usual, it's a pleasure spending the next 30 minutes with you. If you're looking to get your week started off on an inspiring and spiritually uplifting note, then you need to relax and enjoy our special menu. To help us get into the swing of things, let's meet today's special coffee shop guest. Today I have the pleasure of hosting a charismatic young man with a passion for youth and community development and empowerment. Melody Mia holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Sports Communication as well as a Bachelor of Arts in Sports Management. He's a motivational speaker, a University of Johannesburg radio jock and the founder of Conquer MIH, an innovative solutions-based company which focuses on developing methods that help young people understand who they are and whom they desire to be. There's much more to Melody as we're about to find out now. Melody, thank you for accepting our invite on identity. It's an absolute pleasure and honor to be here. Looking good. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's start from the beginning. Yeah. Tell us about your childhood. Um, growing up, I was actually born in Joburg. Um, I was born in Joburg. I spent two years in Joburg due to the fights happening when I was born. I moved to Durban, Guamashogwake. That's where my parents re relocated to. And I spent the 14 years there, which was very much challenging. You know, I was in an environment where I personally didn't find it to be exciting. And, you know, it allowed me to open up to the person I want to become. When I moved to Joburg, it was more about refinding myself or reestablishing who I am and what I can become. I wanted more out of life. Mm -hmm. And at that time, Guamash was not giving me what I wanted. So that's... Yeah. That sounds like a really challenging time. Yeah. And what role did, does spirituality play in your life right now, seeing as though you've gone through those challenges? My spirituality is my everything, it's my foundation. And without it, there's no purpose of me living. So you decided to embark in sports. What made you get into that field? Um, I found myself on the sports field, weird enough. Um, I played rugby for Alberton High in high school. Went on to captain also while still there, the smallest guy. But the funny part was that I found a sense of unity, a sense of belonging, a sense of common goal, which is what is my aspiration in life to see people having a common goal and working together as a nation for it, mm -hmm. which is why I found, found myself to say, I want to study sports. But then you moved from sports and then you went into media. Now, I want to know how did that happen? Um, as a sports student, and when I was studying my undergrad in sports communications, yeah. um, I wanted to be involved in the communication part. Okay. I went to um, UJFM, and as a student there, what we did was, we was like, look, let me be a sports anchor. I did it for three and a half years, and I felt like I wanted to grow. That's how I then expanded to becoming a presenter. And from there, I just found myself and my identity. Funny enough, I actually resigned from my previous job to pursue the career which had done no. Hmm. That's a very bold move. And speaking about your identity and UJFM, you have a, a radio show on UJFM, yeah. hashtag the Community Centre, yeah. which stands true to community development and human yeah. development as well. Tell us about it and where does that passion stem from? It stems from the fact that I was grown and groomed by the community. Mm. Um, my, uh, as a young boy, my parents owned a tech shop. So that tech shop, parents would come in, I'd see them as my parents. Mm. So I'd get advice from them. As I grew up, I stopped getting advice in the way that I used to. And young kids don't get it because we don't have this community vision anymore whereby you're the child of the village. Mm. So I thought it's time to recreate that thing that I got as giving back and create a show where young people can actually sit and speak about their own problems and 
we can as a community challenge things that we're probably going through together like you and I are going through the same thing but we'll never know because we're living in this individualistic society so I'm trying to counteract that mindset. Mm -hmm. You're very passionate about um, human development as well yeah. as community development so in 2015 you started your own organization Conquer MIH please tell us about it and what actually inspired you to start it? Well in 2015 we were like you know what we're actually gonna go out and be rebellious. This is a time whereby we need to stand for something greater sure. than a paycheck. Mm -hmm. And a lot of young people don't understand that. So that's why we said, you can't be the best if you don't know who you are. Mm -hmm. That's our thing. Mm -hmm. And how we do that is say, let's go out there and help people understand who they are through motivational talks, through seminars, through having one-on-one -on -one mentorship with people that we meet spiritually and also in you know the world. That's how we found to say, this is what we want to do. And we're going to go out there and be our best. We, it's all about bringing that one person to live their life in a way that you would feel like it's a movie. So one of the projects that you run under Conquer MIH is Reader Sites, and I'm thinking that it gels well with what you just spoke about, but please give us um, a glimpse of what it's really about. Reader Sites is basically giving that child on a Saturday the opportunity to expand in improving themselves. My father used to take me to the library every Friday when I was still living in Durban. And every, every day, actually, he used to take me to the library after school, spend three hours there reading. I didn't realize the well-spoken person that I am today was invested 15 years ago. And our children today, our parents think just taking a child to school is enough. It's not. Reader Sat is giving a child an extra chance to work on themselves, read, understand. Then you can elaborate on who you are. It goes back to our foundation at Conquer knowing who you are. If you can read, you can explain yourself. I mean, look at how many kids are struggling in school. Yeah. With them struggling in school, it's because they can't read. Now we are bringing a solution to society to say, let's expand it. You are such an inspiration, Melody. Now for people that are watching you at home and thinking, wow, I really want to become like him, but mm. I, I, I'm, I've lost hope and yeah. faith. What would you tell that young person at home? The first thing is that I live by um, a, a scripture which is Isaiah 40 verse 31, which talks about, you know, God will renew your strength mm. and you'll soar like an eagle. The word eagle is my power is that, if you notice an eagle, an eagle always comes down to actually grab its enemy and flies back up. But when it goes back up, it's high in praise, high in prayer, high in faith. Your problems are on the ground. If you stay on the ground, you will stay there and you will not overcome your challenges. Mm. You need to go on the ground, grab your problem, and go in the sky. That means that you're praying, you're praising, you're believing, you're investing in you. And that's how you become stronger. Mm. The stronger you are, the bigger and better you become. Sure, I like that. And speaking about problems and challenges and yeah. actually overcoming them, you know, we're going through a water crisis in our country. Yeah. And here on Identity, we want to contribute to water yeah. preservation. So could you give our viewers just one tip on saving water at home? To be honest, People won't like me for this one. You know, they really <laughs> won't. Um, it's just about Ivascom. And I'm really honest with you, some people, yeah. if, if a family for once a week utilize Ivascom, mm -hmm. which is a calculated contribution of water into a, you know, a bad tub, yeah. every day, once a week, for like, let's say once a week in the family, would use it, we can contribute collectively to saving water because I mean it saves water mm -hmm. I mean one kettle one uh, jag or two jags and you've taken a bath you're done yeah. that's really resourceful Melody thanks for that tip and now we're not all fun and games here on identity so we've got a quick word game are you ready for it <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay so the game is called would you rather and mm -hmm. you have to answer it as quickly as possible okay I'll okay try. cool so the first question have x-ray vision or bionic hearing x-ray Talk like Yoda or breathe like Darth Vader. Talk like Yoda. Live in eternal summer or eternal winter. Summer. <laughs> Travel by horse or by bicycle. Bicycle. Have a rewind button or a pause button in your life. Pause. Be able to talk to animals or be able to speak all the languages of the world. Animals. Always be underdressed or overdressed. And you're just, <laughs> I'm joking, oh, over just. I was about to say, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on Identity and you're such an inspiration. Keep it up. It's an absolute pleasure and keep doing the amazing work you guys do. It's been said that purpose is the reason you journey and passion is the fire that lights your way. Melody Mia certainly embodies these two qualities and I foresee nothing less than a bright future ahead of him. 
liqesha ngokuloke ezibenkileni xa sibuya silibhekise Orlando West esowethu egauteen kuba siyobona izomculo ungadi balike wethu nesiqend besethu semedia review apho khona sizakubona i-app yokupheka nombonisi obhanya banya ozakufudume izinhliziyo ungasi kuklonda This is my identity. This is my identity. Welcome back to Identity, the multi-faith youth show that shines the spotlight on the strides that are being taken towards the betterment of our youth and our future. I'm your host Vue Kwala. Ibalethu nanamhlanje lisibhekisa kwiloki she edumile emhlabeni esegauteen esowethu. Sifumane umyalezo ku Facebook ovela kujabile shabalala. Ongumuntu omtsha ofuna kwabelana nathi ngebali lakhe. Nakho ke akubalileyo. Hi guys, my name is Jablile Shabalala and I'm a member of the Tutti Music Initiative which was started by a man who's passionate about imparting his musical skills and helping to keep us off the streets. I'd like to invite you to come and spend the day with us and see how music is making a positive impact in our lives. Hope to see the identity team in our neighborhood soon. Sincerely, Jablile. Now you know how much we love stories of lives being changed for the better. So of course we accepted the invitation and took a short left to Soweto. This is what the team captured. This is my identity. Sanmanan bafethu kamela mchabulile shabalala and esila emzi mhlophe esoweto namhlanje ngifuna ukunazisa ngaba ngani mama engihlezi ngiblome nabo during my afternoons last khalisa khona um music but before we get musical asabmen sobona babo qale yonke le initiative asambini with Mr Mganga or as we call him Use. He is the founder of Tutti Music Initiative. Baba, please give us the brief history of how this initiative started. What inspired its formation? Um, I saw kids roaming around the streets after school, so I, I thought of trying to get them together and start them with music. I started collecting music instruments, then we started working on Why did you specifically choose to work with young people? Because they still need guidance. They don't have much to do in the locations. So I try to keep them occupied. So Baba, what kind of instruments do you teach here? I teach woodwind and brass, but in the near future I I plan adding some strings as well. So Bafetu, I'm sure you're ready to check us out ukutsini bona ukuthi senza njani so sit back relax while we give you some tunes enjoy the performance as much as we did so baba since you separated us into two groups what was the purpose for this the purpose the young ones are still beginners and you are in advanced group so i have to teach give them a different lessons than you what other lessons do you cover during practice i uh, start with theory and then we do some warm ups and then we work on our scales then we start on, on practicing our tunes so baba what is the link between spirituality and music i believe spirituality is something next to god you praise god with songs music uh, soothes your mind and your body So I'm going to introduce you to my peers. What instrument do you play and why did you choose to play it? Okay, me na lana ngidlala i trumpet, i trumpet ina ma valve i3 ngidlala because e TV kakhulu idlalwa ama kings. Okay, mpetu. Uh so like 
Okay, apart from music that we learn here. Um, firstly, I'm a life skills. I'm a life skills. This is fundi behavior around abantabatala, even around my peers' way to estratini, your etiquette, ne confidence. Kalen in Kalis music and why? Um, Kale Okalisa music 2010. Um, when you grade four and like when you ten, I think, yeah. In any any funda, you la etut. Um, funda, it discipline, Oguzma Ninja, um, in a respect, Gakulu, cause eh, teacher, it's a zone, even ton of stout. Yeah. So, guys, since you heard the advanced group displaying their skills, it's time to check the young ones out. Welcome luck. Ukusel umgang. Eh, ukalisa ip instrument and why ukalisa? Ukalisa ip trumpet ngowa imnandi futi enza wantu wa chai. Okay, jabo gane? Welcome luck. Kamala mama sejo. Ip instrument ukalisa and why ukalisa? Ukalisa ip recorder kazi nia itanda eni nia injagu ukalisa. Okay, let's go see what's going on. Ma, how has this benefited you, Tanaku? Yeah, the school education in here, Kenne, or improving the school. We are going to focus on what in as a music only the patience. Then to the fund is about to now. Mubuntu, the cool, and a young fund is out to Mutana Awazo how to handle herself amongst people. So, what are your hopes for us as young musicians? I hope in future to have you as a fully fledged orchestra. We'll be adding strings. We'll be able to accompany school uh, choirs in their competitions. Some of you will be professional musicians. If music be the food of love, play it on. Thank you, Bomatala, for hanging out with us. I hope you all guys enjoyed yourself. From us to the Music Initiative, back to you, Lapo Estudio Sisviwe. I'm out. In the words of Hans Christian Andersen, where words fail, music speaks. Thank you to Jablile and the members of the Tutti Music Initiative for sharing their story with us. After the break, we jump straight into our What's Happening segment. Today we're reviewing an app to help you turn your leftovers into delicious meals and a movie based on a true life story. Don't go away. This is my identity. This is my identity. Ubukele inkubo edumile eyolutsha yenkolo ezahlukene i-identity khona apha ku SAPC1 ndinguviwe qwala. If you've just joined us, here's what you've missed out on. Entrepreneur and motivational speaker Melody Mia got the show off to an inspired start. We then indulged in a musical feast with the members of the Tutti Music Initiative in Soweto. Now it's time to check out what's new and exciting on the media front. This is What's Happening. If you're anything like me, then you hate throwing away food. But sometimes you find that your fridge is overflowing with leftovers that you aren't quite sure what to do with. Well, today we're reviewing an app to help you avoid wasting food. It's called Love Your Leftovers. Having started off as a cookbook, the Love Your Leftovers app was inspired by a small Australian community initiative to encourage people to minimize waste and maximize taste. The landing page gives you the option to either search for a recipe using a leftover ingredient or to browse all recipes. The app provides recipes for bread, cake, fruit, meat, pasta and rice or vegetable leftovers. Select the leftover option of your choice and click on the recipe that piques your interest. Each recipe consists of a list of ingredients, the preparation or cooking method, as well as a handy and interesting tip. You can also add recipes to your favorites, making them easy to return to again and again. 
Perhaps you have a great leftovers recipe that you'd like to share. All you have to do is select the Submit to Your Own tab. The Info Bites tab opens up a collection of useful advice on how to plan your meals, a breakdown of what a serving is, and suggested servings for different age groups. It also gives you tips on how to store different types of food, how to dispose of unusable food waste in an environmentally friendly manner, and a conversion chart for dry ingredients, liquid ingredients, as well as oven temperatures. Play your part in reducing food waste and its impact on the environment with the help of the Love Your Leftovers app. I'm already putting that app to good use. I hope you'll find it as handy as I do. After all, they say waste not, want not. Now on to our next review, which will surely warm your heart. It's a movie called Miracles from Heaven. Cheers! Cheers! Today, let's do Benjamin Franklin. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Okay, wasn't your teacher? Based on a true story and a book of the same title, this film tells the story of 10-year-old Annabel Beam who, after a series of misdiagnoses, is said to be suffering from a rare and incurable digestive disorder. Her family's faith is put to the test as they struggle to find a solution to their daughter's plight. We need a solution. We need it now. And we'll get it. How? By not losing our faith. How long have you been married? 14 years. As if things couldn't get worse, Annabelle experiences a terrible fall. A fall that could have resulted in paralysis or death. That when this baby girl fell, Miraculously, she survives. Starring Jennifer Garner, Kylie Rogers and Queen Latifah among others, Miracles from Heaven is an emotional story of faith, hope and the belief in miracles. It's a definite must-see. In light of the current water crisis that our country is facing, it's our duty as South Africans to play a part in water preservation. The identity team would like to challenge you to take up a water preservation challenge. All you have to do is pledge to save water in any way you can. On a personal note, to save water, I don't leave the tap running when brushing my teeth. social media. Identity TV Show Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. email Identity TV Show at gmail.com. That brings us to the end of today's episode of Identity. We hope you've been inspired by today's guest, insert, and reviews. Let's hook up again next week at 11 a.m. right here on SABC1 Mzanti for Show. Today we play out with a track called Rise by Bo featuring Cabo Snoop and Gobi. From me, Biwe Kuala, and the Identity team, have a blessed week and remember to be water wise. Goodbye.